Hello, welcome to Workforce Wednesday. My name is Emily Putnato. I'm the Workforce Development Specialist at the Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce and your host of Workforce Wednesday, which we have every week on Wednesdays at noon. Joining me today is Zach Ortman. He is from Fastenal. Thank you for taking the time to join me on a busy holiday week. Yeah, right. absolutely. Thank you for having me. So let's dive right in. Um, tell me a little bit about Fastenal, what you distribute and where you're located. Sure. So we are located, our distribution facility is located on Mid Valley Drive in Jessup. Uh, we distribute everything that you can think of, really. Um, we distribute everything from paper towels and toilet paper to safety supplies, hard hats, uh, fluorescent vests, uh, nuts, bolts. They are our bread and butter. Um, and we distribute to what we would call Region 100, um, which covers a lot of like the New England area. Uh, and we obviously transport to our other facilities through North Carolina, Florida, Georgia, uh, Indiana, anywhere. And what is your role at Fastenal? I am the picking manager uh, back in our picking department. So you'll see picking posted a little bit of everywhere. Um, and there are two different areas. I am from the S Hub picking team. And are you hiring for picking positions currently? We are. Okay. So describe a day in your life and what it would be like for someone to fill that role. Sure. So we have three areas um, from in my department, which we would uh, refer to as bulk picking, pick to light, and mini load picking. So you generally, you come in, you check in with your, your lead or manager, and from there, you would grab whatever needed supplies to start your day and go to that designated area, and you would uh, go through and pick uh, with your counterparts and get those orders processed and taken to our sortation team, who would then process those to go out on the on our trucks with the shipping department. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, we generally weekly will do uh, kind of a catch up with where you are at uh, as a picker. You know how many discrepancies you have, if any, where your picks per hour stand, um, and then go from there. Uh, and that's a weekly, a week by week uh, coverage that we do with you, and then from a, if you're in bulk picking, you cover 95% of the facility. Uh, it's a big, it's a big area to cover. Mini load, you are in a cell um, where you have product that is automated that comes down to you and then you pick it from the tote that it's in. And then the pick to light is um, also where you walk the length of about 120 yards and well it might, might be about 100 yards and back and forth to different totes that will stop and light up that they have product there that needs to be picked put it in there and then put it on the conveyor cool what are the other positions you're hiring for we are hiring for receiving um, our lift department um, which was also what you'll see posted as picking um, but it'll have a different code called pa 700 uh, receiving, shipping, um, and sortation. And uh, along with sortation, we have uh, sortation leads, sortation assistant manager, uh, part-time sortation. And what are the hours generally for these positions? Do you do so, first, second, and third shift? So we have, we do have our receiving team is our, our a majority of our overnight staff. Um, and that would be a, a 10 to six um, and 11 to seven, somewhere in that range. Um, for picking, um, we start from 7.30 a.m. and we go till about 8 p.m. Um, there are nights where we may be here a little bit past 8 o'clock, but generally we, we're done by 8. And then the sortation department, also they are on a similar schedule. They'll run um, Monday through Saturday afternoon into Sunday, um, Sunday, late Sunday or early Sunday morning rather. Uh, and that would be anywhere from, I believe, 8 a.m. to... Uh, 8 a.m. to midnight, I believe, is that range. And then shipping is going to be that uh, very similar. They start from 3 p.m. to midnight. Um, and uh, I think if they have an earlier shift, it's uh, 2 to 11. What are some of the requirements to fulfill these roles? So uh, we do look, we look for previous warehouse experience, forklift experience, electric pallet jacks, ride on pallet jacks uh, for those uh, previous picking experience within other facilities. The, ultimately, at the end of the day, we're, we can train anybody and teach anybody uh, if they have the willingness to learn. And when we bring those people in for the interview, we, one of the things we truly talk about is we want you to be upbeat, happy, good attitude. Um, and, and those are parts of that process. Like 
uh, you know, if you're going to come into work, we want you to enjoy being here. We don't want you to feel like uh, dragging your feet. I have to go to work today. Um, we want you to be positive about it. So uh, that's that's all pro- part of that process for us. It's definitely important to love what you do. Absolutely. And that feel like work. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, can you provide some details? Um, you don't have to get too in-depth about the um, pay, benefits. Sure. So um, all dependent on the position that you start out in, um, the range can be anywhere from 16 bucks an hour to 20 bucks an hour that you start, depending on the, the position and shift that you're on. Um, benefits, health, dental, um, 401k, the um, 401k program is uh, pretty interesting through Merrill Lynch. Uh, the I'm trying to think um, one of the one of the things I, I don't I personally never saw until I came to Fastenal is through the health uh, through the health plan is there is a uh, I guess you could consider it a telehealth but it's it's like if you are someone who you have a really bad day whether at home or at work and you just need that person to talk to like just a blow up, vent, whatever it might be. We have people that you can just pick up the phone and call and do that, which is really cool, I think. I've never heard um, of that. I've never, I never have to uh, either. It's kind of, they would fall under like that mental health kind of uh, category. And it's really cool just to have that, knowing that you have that person, you can just pick up the phone and be like, I, I need to talk to somebody. That's awesome. And that definitely mental health is a huge issue now. And it's nice to know that you have those resources available to your employees. Yeah, absolutely. What is something unique about, oh, that's very unique. So what's something else that's very unique about working at Fast and All that might entice a job seeker to apply? Sure. So for me, it is that I have, I have three things that I, I always point out to people and it's family, work-life balance and um, flexibility. So family, meaning from the day I walked through the doors of Fast and All for the first time ever, um, actually toward the warehouse and being the first warehouse ever, one of the things I said to the gentleman giving me a tour is I'm like, I said, I really feel that people, they get along. They act like they're more of a family here than, than coworkers. Uh, and that's something that I think goes across all of our departments, not just in your specific department. Uh, and so you feel like you have a family away from family, uh, which is really cool. With that, that work-life balance comes into play where um, it's kind of mixed together with the flexibility of I want my team and my counterparts to enjoy coming to work and know that even if it's not at work, we still have their back. Uh, and that means if you're trying to come to work and you're stuck on in a pile of snow, well, I'm going to come with my truck and I'm going to help you get out. Or if your car breaks down on the side of the highway or you just need help in any kind of manner that you can reach out to myself or my assistant manager or one of your your leadership and and get that help that you need. Um, and that's, I think in, in today's world, very, very rare to find a place that has that passion for their, for their team. That's awesome. And you definitely have that passion for your team too. <laughs> yeah. Um, talking behind the scenes, Zach mentioned that he never even had a background in distribution, working in a warehouse. Um, so what was it like for you to start working there and training? Definitely. Yeah. Um, so for me, initially, it was a little bit of a culture shock. I came out of the banking industry, um, sales and very, very different than than distribution, for sure. Uh, so it was a little bit of a learning curve for me. But now I, I, I tell people all, all the time, I don't know that I'll ever go out of this. Um, I, I love it. Uh, it's something that is a lot of fun. And it's you you learn so many different avenues, not only from the distribution side of things and logistics, but all the way to um, one of the things that we have that is something I've never seen before is what we call FSB, which is Fastenal School of Business. So when you come in and you start your training, there's gonna be some computer work initially that goes through some of the safety things, some of different courses, and some people would never look at that stuff again. They would never see it again. but with FSB, what we have is we have courses that teach you how to use Excel, that teach you how to use different features in the Microsoft Office suites, um, effective business communication. Um, I just went through uh, a course uh, about a month ago called Critical Dialogue, how you talk to people and handle hard situations. Like that's stuff that other companies generally don't do. And if they do it, they're only giving that opportunity to 
they're, they're corporate level people. They're not giving it to everybody. And this is something that everybody has access to, which is really cool uh, because it allows that growth for each individual. Yeah. So you can be a continuous learner yep. and grow yourself and in your positions. That's great. So to wrap everything up, how can an interested job seeker apply? So you, we have put job postings up on Indeed. Um, when you apply through Indeed, uh, the process is generally one of us will reach out to you uh, and, and have you come in for a tour and then go through our careers website because um, the application doesn't always transition the proper way. Uh, so if you go to careers.bassinall.com, you can see all of our job postings up there for the Jessup area. Um, Jessup, Pennsylvania, you can type that in or you can type in the zip code 18434 and they will show up and they'll tell you is it full-time, part-time, uh, what kind of position it is and obviously give you all of the, the details about that position too. Anything else you would like to add before we close out? Um, no, so I, I did want to clarify. Um, I did mention that there's like two picking positions that you may see when you go to research that. So one of them that what you want to look for is it says PA 700. That is what we call our lift department. So the lift department is local inventory fulfillment terminal. It is the newest addition to Fastenal, um, and we are now running them country uh, in all throughout the U.S. in our in our distribution facilities. It is a rapid growing area, and it's a ton of knowledge that you will learn about not only logistics, but picking and shipping and all sorts of different areas back there. And it's like I said, because of how new it is, it's growing so fast and it's a great opportunity for anybody looking to come into this facility or any warehousing facility in general. It's a great foot in the door for them. Um, so I would recommend definitely looking at that. Thank you, Zach, for taking the time to join us today and giving us the opportunity to learn about the positions available at Fastenal and what Fastenal does as a company. Um, if you are an interested job seeker, please visit Indeed to look at the positions and the Fastenal website. Um, if you are interested in applying for other opportunities, Chamber has a job board at scrantonchamber.com. And then if you are a member of business interested in registering for an upcoming Workforce Wednesday session, please contact me at epetnato at scrantonchamber.com. And thank you again for joining us today and have a great evening. Thank you.